Hello and welcome to Library Drawing Party. Today we're going to be drawing this beautiful sunset. To get started, since instead of our usual 5x7 drawing, we're going to be doing a panorama, so it's basically two 5x7s pushed together, or one long sheet of paper. So I'm going to take my watercolors, I'm using my rainbow watercolor set. And I'm going to use the green to mark the horizon line. Which should be a little bit above halfway on my sheet of paper. And it goes all the way across. Then the sun is peeking out from behind some hills, so I'm going to gonna add a little bit of elevation. And we want the elevation to come about halfway because we want the other side to be focused on the trees. So let's add in our tree line. So we're going to be going over this with colored pencil. You don't need this to be perfect. And nothing in nature is perfect. So we're just going to color block right here. And then there's going to be a reflection in the water. So I'm going to use my green Start the reflection and then we'll paint blue over top of that. And then let's work on the shrubbery down below. So I'm going to keep using green to block it out. You can also use brown. This gives a nice frame to our sunset. And the shrubs extend out to the edge of the page. I'm going to make the edge over here a little bit longer. Okay, once you're satisfied with your tree line and your brush line, let's add in the sun. So I'm going to use yellow for the actual sun. And it's right in a third from the left or three quarters of the page from the right. Then I'm going to use orange to give it that nice sunset feel. This is going to go all around the sun. You want to make sure that your lines are going horizontally. As this will help lengthen the page. And makes a nice calm sunset. 
unless you'd like to experiment with the clouds and then you could try different directions maybe you want diagonal clouds or fun shapes but for my drawing I want them to be straight across nice traditional sunset Then we're going to want to blend the orange with the yellow. Into the sky. Let's take our orange. And blend it in a bit more with the yellow. And let's take our blue and start adding in the sky. So this really depends on how you want your clouds to look. I want my clouds to be a calm, peaceful day. So I'm just going to have the vertical lines. But you could try diagonal, you could try puffy clouds. You can try making shapes with your clouds. The sky's the limit. And since we don't want it to be completely defined, we do want this to be blended. I'm going to use just some water blend things together. You can leave some white in too for the clouds. Now over here I am going to do some diagonal lines because I want there to be some interesting cloud patterns. I'm going to be much more freestyle than I was on the opposite side. You can really play with your textures, how dry the brush is, how wet the brush is. You can even try doing some ink blots. I really want to emphasize the orange because that's what makes the sunset so beautiful. So I'm going to add some more pigment near our sun. Once you're happy with your skyline, we can start to work on the water. So again, I'm going to be using those horizontal lines to show it's a nice peaceful day on the lake. You can use a thicker brush for this. I'm going to use my fan brush.
I'm going to make sure you go over the reflection that we painted in green. And blend those colors together. You don't have to blend all the blue together because you'll be seeing the waves. And then let's take our orange and let's just paint a reflection below the sunset in the water with our orange. Good idea to leave the top part a little lighter. And we'll be able to see the orange through the waves. And since this is a pretty big sunset, I'm going to have it extend out towards the middle of the lake. Okay, once you have your watercolor base drawn, then you're going to want to let this dry, and then we'll go in and add our color pencil details. Hello, and welcome back to Library Drawing Party. Now we're going to be adding in our color pencil details. To start, let's go over the sun to make sure it's nice and bright. So I'm just going to outline the sun with my yellow. Have it fade in a bit. I'm going to use the yellow. Go over some of the orange. I'm going to use red near the horizon line. I'm going to blend the red that I just put a little bit around the sun. Into the yellow of the sun. Now the furthest point is the horizon line. So I'm going to take black to really emphasize that line. And I'm going to draw it straight across until we get to the tree line. And then I'm going to fade it out so it's heaviest by the horizon line for shadow. Then I'm going to take my pine green or dark green and I'm going to blend that in we have a nice dark hillside or mountainside I'm going to really emphasize horizon lines. I'm going to go over that again with my dark green. I'm going to take my brown and do the same thing. So heaviest by the horizon line and then fades out as it goes towards the sunset. Now let's move on to the tree line. So the trees, we're going to have the trunks, so there'll be some vertical lines. And you don't want this to be too uniform. And then we have some evergreens. So for the evergreens, we're going to do some diagonal lines. 
You can even do some popping up. And then for the trees, we're going to have big, thick, horizontal lines that fade out into thinner lines. And then we'll do shore and brown. And let's take our dark or pine green and repeat that. Help give it a nice green color. And along the shore. Now let's add in the people. There's two people sitting watching the sunset. So let's put them right about here. So I'm just going to draw in pretty much a red circle for the shirt. I'm going to use that green to draw another shirt right next to him. And then I'm going to draw some brown hair using the brown that we had from the trees. You can also use some black. And let's take our blue and let's add in the boats. So these boats are just going to be very simple. We're just going to have some straight horizontal lines. They're far away so we wouldn't be able to see them too clearly. And let's take our black Give them some shadow underneath. And let's take our green and work on the reflection in the water. And we'll take some blue. and some brown. And let's add in the grasses. So these are pretty close to the viewer, so they're going to be fairly large. And let's have some grasses along the edge to help frame the picture. I'm going to be doing some diagonal lines and then I'll do some cross hatching. I'll do some diagonals the opposite way. I'm going to take my green and repeat that. It gives us some texture. Let's do some long grasses with our green too. And even use yellow, do some highlights. Let's take our brown. We're going to add in some rocks, so some circles and some ovals. That's all along the shoreline here. We do have some grasses. Let's draw those in first. I'm just going to be drawing rocks 
You don't want this to be too uniform. So put the rocks in any direction. You can use black for this. Or gray for your number two pencil. And then the rocks go right up to the people because that's where they're sitting. And there's a bit of a shoreline here. I'm going to put in some blue. And I'm going to take my brown and fill in some of the gaps by coloring over it. I'm going to take my black and put in some shadow. And there you have it. That's our sunset panorama. Thank you for joining us in this week's library drawing party. We hope to see you again next week. We have library drawing parties every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And keep being creative.